I've come to realize that EDTA is more than just a chelator, but also has strong anti-inflammatory properties. I realize that if I take my EDTA small dose at night, I'm able to sleep through the night and I have no aches and pains. If I don't take the EDTA, I need some type of anti-inflammatory to be able to sleep through the night because the hips hurt, the knees hurt, all of the joints hurt. You know what I'm talking about. When I first realized that EDTA was helping with all of the joint pain at night, I thought it had to do something with chelation or that because I was chelating heavy metals, the joint pain was then leaving. And it might be a little bit of both. But once I take the small serving of EDTA within 15 minutes, the aches and pains disappear. And that's a little bit too fast for just typical metal chelation. There is one research that I found that followed 32 individuals with rheumatoid arthritis and they treated them with EDTA. However, it was intravenous EDTA. I am taking EDTA orally. I have found several animal studies that studied EDTA and its anti-inflammatory possibilities on rats, but I have not seen any other human studies that I can find where EDTA was working as an anti-inflammatory. What I'm now wondering is, does it work for all of us? as an anti-inflammatory, or does it only work for the ones that have heavy metal toxicity? For instance, did my heavy metal toxicity lead to rheumatoid arthritis? And because I'm taking care of the heavy metal toxicity, rheumatoid arthritis pains then go away? Or is EDTA a strong anti-inflammatory that you can use instead of some of the -the over-the-counter products that we're currently using. Either way, I'm extremely curious about EDTA, not only as a chelator, but also using it as an anti-inflammatory agent. Currently, when I take my small dose at night, I am pain-free for the next eight to nine hours without having to take anything else. I wish we could see a lot more studies on EDTA and the actual anti-inflammatory implications behind the product. There are very little side effects to EDTA. One of the major things to look out for is that it can strip you of magnesium, potassium, and other good types of heavy metals that we have in our body, like iron, to name a few. However, with EDTA and taking such a small dose, I have not had problems balancing my electrolytes, and I take a currently a very small daily dose. If any of you out there have EDTA, are you able to use it as an anti-inflammatory agent? Have you put it together that it stops aches and pains. I'm curious as to what you're seeing and finding, and I would love it if you left a comment below.